Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition love in general reading. This is for fire signs. So Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Arising uh, for January the 11th through the 13th, 2019. So let's go ahead and begin here. Thank all of you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. Uh, if you would like to book a personal or private reading, you can email to tarot at gmail.com and that information is in the de description box below. Um, I am only taking phone calls uh, during certain times. Make sure that you always see me post that YouTube message. If it is taken down, that means I'm done doing the readings for that time. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. We have Central Issue as the Four of Wands. Seven of Swords, Two of Wands, Queen of Wands, Ace of Wands, Four of Pentacles, King of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. All right, so I feel like you guys are going to be busy this weekend. Um, you might just be busy doing things around the house. Uh, I am seeing movie theaters for some people or some form of entertainment. Um, you may be going to a house party, hosting a house party, or going to someone's birthday party. Um, especially if they are Capricorn. Well, that is Capricorn season. So, yeah, um, I also see the element of Earth in here. So you could be dealing with Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Uh, you could be uh, dealing with another fire sign such as yourself. Um, and I'm also getting... I feel like someone may be stepping outside of their comfort zone. I'm seeing something in regards to a hidden agenda or secret plans. Now it could be a surprise party. I forgot to set my timer. Could be a surprise party um, that someone is planning. Uh, you could also be taking, um, I don't feel like this is a trip. I feel like more so this is a visitor coming into your home, coming into your domain. Um, but I feel like it is a, a pleasant surprise here. Those of you that are dating or talking to someone, it's very possible that you guys could be going on your first date this weekend. Um, those of you that are already in relationships, overall, I just feel like you and your partner um, are doing something pretty active. Um, maybe you're going to some sort of place where there are activities uh, such as bowling or pool or um, ski ball, just whatever. It just looks like you are having some sort of fun this weekend. Uh, those of you that are still completely single, it just looks like your weekend is going to be uh, active or busy so I don't know if you're working this weekend or doing some changes a around your home um, I'm still getting someone who maybe has been snooping around um, be careful that you don't have some sort of thief in your neighborhood uh, so make sure that you're checking your mail packages or make sure that you're locking your doors. Um, I'm seeing, I'm getting someone who has some sort of hidden agenda. I'm trying to figure out what this is. For for some of you, it's, it's something that's not negative. Um, it's more so like someone who is keeping their eye on you. Um, but they they don't want to be caught because maybe they don't want you to know yet that they're attracted to you. I still feel like with the Four of Wands, though, someone is getting ready to uh, express how they feel. There's going to be a release. It's like finally someone being able to express how they feel about you. So they this is a sense of accomplishment um, for somebody. 
Uh, but for some of you, this could be a, a warning or a message that, you know, you should protect your home here, um, guard your belongings. Um, it's something about this person. I can't quite put my finger on it. I don't know if this person is trustworthy. I'm going to clarify them in a minute. Um, because their energy is... They're sneaky. I feel like too... Hmm... Almost like a con artist. You can't read this person. This person has another side to them. I don't know if it's a good side or bad side, though. We'll see in a minute. But uh, I am seeing some flirtation as well. Uh, someone, someone may be acting out of character. For one, I'm seeing they're one of your neighbors is kind of I don't know like maybe they give you the heebie-jeebies because they're an older person but they're still acting really flirtatious or maybe they say inappropriate things um, I feel that you may try to make light of the situation also for some of you this might be the first time that someone is getting ready to meet your parents and their parent, uh, someone's parents is getting ready to be very critical. Uh, I feel like maybe this is a, a family date or maybe it's just an introduction. Whatever it is, it's like you're doing, taking the next step in a relationship. So maybe if you guys have been dating uh, and you've gotten to a point where you feel like, hey, I want them to meet my parents. Um, it looks like this is what is getting ready to happen. And I'm seeing someone's parent being very guarded, like you better take care uh, of my daughter or a mother who's raised her son all her life. And she's got her eye on this woman like you, you know, I see through you. I can see you a little freak, but don't you do that. Do nothing to hurt my son. You know, it's kind of like she's reading you. She's watching you. Um, she may not even trust you just yet. Um, so I'm getting a little bit of judgment as well um seeing something in regards to someone's baby's father as well i don't know um i feel like they might try to cock block you some type of way um so though i know i get every now and again and then i get some people that's like what is cock blocking so basically it's someone who is trying to prevent you from having sex with somebody um, and so they kind of, I don't know, throw a monkey wrench in your plans or whatever the case. They are just trying to prevent that from happening. Um, this can also be something like, say, if you have a friendly relationship with the child's father, um, and he knows that you're going out on a date. So he calls himself coming to your home. Like, I just want to meet the guy. I just want to see who, who this is that, you know, my child might get involved with so they're they're trying to act overprotective but maybe they also have a hidden agenda like really they just want to cause some sort of conflict or drama um there could be a little bit of jealousy as well or someone is talking about they just want to protect their child but you know it's just like no you just don't want um you know your the baby's mom to have too much fun without you or you want to see if somebody is making her as happy as you used to make her so it's a little bit of um male ego but it's also it can go the story can go the other way around this could be a woman who's doing you know something very similar um so i feel i do feel like someone is trying to check out someone's date or something uh let me clarify this seven of swords is this seven of swords
For some of you, this might be a secret getaway. Like you're going um, on a vacation with someone and you haven't like told a lot of people because maybe you're just wanting time alone or um, maybe you just don't want people in your business. And I'm also getting maybe someone sneaking out the house too, especially if it's some sort of deception or cheating. Hmm, okay, so I'm getting like a lot of court cards coming out. For some of you, this is talking about some sort of secret relationship, someone seeing more than one person. Also, I'm getting there is someone in your group of friends that is not trustworthy. It's like that, that saying, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Um, so out of somebody in your friend's circle, somebody is either jealous or someone is just, I just don't feel like they're trustworthy. Don't tell them things. Um, I would not loan this person money. I almost feel too like someone is going to try to, like they say they need a place to stay um, because something happened, you know, whatever elaborate story they tell you. And they're just like, I just need to stay here for a couple of days. Um, they're hiding something or they're lying about something. I'm seeing too someone is running from other people uh, or someone has been kicked out, but they're not telling you, especially if you already knew that you were in some sort of third party situation. Um, and, you know, this person comes around and they're acting like they want to be with you. Um, it's really because they have got caught or they got in trouble. They've been put out or they call themselves trying to avoid from getting kicked out. So maybe they're like, they got into an argument with their significant other and they're like, well, I'm going for, you know, to stay with um, Rob this weekend or I'm going to stay with um, Shay this weekend, whatever have you. Somebody is talking about, they had a fight with their significant other. So they come to you and then they're like, yeah, I just want to be with you, but they're not really telling you they're coming to be with you for the weekend because of some other mishap. Um, I was also getting something else here. See, yeah. Um, I almost feel like someone is being put out or kicked out. Maybe they lost their job. I, they're, whatever the case is, they're not being honest about why they're coming to stay with you. So that's why I was saying for some of you, this is like um, some changes to your home life. Um, watch your things too, because this person may, may have sticky fingers or they might just be someone who snoops even if this is even if this isn't something about like cheating but your significant other is coming to your home they're going to be snooping around they're going to be very nosy looking through your things i also feel like someone like i said is escaping or running away I don't feel like it's they're running away from authorities, but they're running away or avoiding a situation too. Hmm. All right, so let me also check out this Four of Pentacles because with the Four of Pentacles, um, this also is talking about someone who is maybe withholding information. Hmm. 
someone may be playing hard to get. I'm seeing strong sexual attraction though. Um I'm seeing strong sexual attra uh, attraction. I'm seeing, um, also I'm seeing creativity. Uh, if you are an entrepreneur, I feel like you may be um, very busy this weekend or you're, you're doing something for the first time or maybe uh, like if you have a commercial business, this is the grand opening. Now also I'm seeing somebody maybe getting their first piece of real estate this weekend or moving into their new home or you're just settling in like you've already moved but you're settling in I'm seeing something about new something about the home okay so the four of Pentacles is coming off as the Emperor I feel like it's more so someone who's very overprotective I do feel like it's someone that has close watch on you Hmm. I'm also feeling like for some of you, there's someone that you haven't been talking to and they're going to surprise you. They're going to catch you off guard. Like I just feel like someone, someone showing up unannounced. I'm sorry, it's just that I'm really just trying to focus here, but I, I feel like it's more so about someone trying to avoid a situation, someone showing up at your house unannounced. Yeah, and I'm also getting someone who has traveled from far away. You're going to be surprised. You're, you're just you're not expecting this so that's basically all that I'm picking up for fire um I hope that makes sense for some of you yeah I hope that makes sense uh feel free to leave your comments don't forget to like share and subscribe many blessings to you